Automating tasks and creating systems in my everyday life have been one of, if not the best thing I've done for productivity over the last two or three or four years. In this video, I'm going to go through seven different automations that are easily saving me more than seven hours a week. And that's being conservative. So essentially, I now have more hours in the week to reinvest into growing my businesses, learning new skills, and actually enjoying my downtime. And the great thing is, is that you can create these same automations yourself even if you're starting from scratch but first very quickly what exactly do I mean by automating and creating systems so in a nutshell automating a task is about using technology to reduce the need for human involvement in completing that task and systemizing a task is about designing systems for repeatable processes that streamline tasks and reduce inefficiencies this video is sponsored by make so let me start with my first example, and I call it the Blackboard Fitness Tracker. And I used to use widgets on my phone, kind of like a fitness dashboard to remind me to go to the gym, to go swimming, to go for a run, get my 7,000 steps in a day, etc. But here's the problem. I had to remember to swipe left on my phone. And sure enough, after a couple of weeks, I literally just forgot that that was there. And so ultimately it became kind of redundant. But then I was like, okay, how can I fix this? And there are a few things that I could have done, like having the widget on my home screen. So I see the health widgets every time I unlock my phone, but my home screen is full already. And I do actually have my task list there for exactly that reason. So I don't forget about it. So then I was like, okay, how can I automate or create a better system so that it's almost impossible for me to forget to go to the gym? or hit my fitness goals each day. So now I have my blackboard next to my door where I record whether I hit the goal for that day. So I have two boxes doing one hour of exercise and this could be swimming, it could be running, it can be going to the gym. At this point, it doesn't matter too much what exercise. And the second tick box is to basically to eat healthily. And then it's like, okay, even if I have a blackboard there, I could still forget it's there after a few days. So that's why I have a pen on the door handle. So every time I open the door, I put my hand on on the pen, it feels weird. I look down and oh, it reminds me to check the blackboard. And I've been doing this for almost two months now. And although it's a very kind of low tech, rudimental system, it does actually work a lot better than any kind of high tech system like an app or alarms or calendar reminders. And it did cost me, I don't know, maybe $3 for the blackboard and pen. So very cost effective. Automating communication. The idea of automations is that you use technology to automate those repetitive tasks that you're doing day in and day out. And one of those repetitive tasks was for me to tell my video editor every time I finished editing a video. So for example, when finishing recording this video right now, I'd have to DM him in Slack and be like, hey Simon, I just filmed this video. Please can you start editing it? But with the automation software Make, I can now have that task automated. So let me show you how. In Notion, this is where all my YouTube shorts and Instagram reels are being prepared. It's kind of like a factory line, if you like, where the videos go from the idea stage to the writing stage to the filming stage and so on. So when I have filmed the video, I drag it down from the filming stage to the editing stage and I change the responsibility from Mike to Simon. And now I don't need to manually message Simon and let him know, thanks to the very simple make automation, Simon gets a message to notify him of the new video that is ready to be edited. And if I'm filming, I don't know, five or 10 short videos a day, over a period of a week, this automation can very quickly save me a lot of time throughout the week. I can even set this particular automation to run at 8 a.m. every day, instead of having it run every time I move a video within Notion, which could be useful if I don't want to spam my video editor with like five or six videos throughout the day. Instead, he'll just get one notification at the beginning of the day, just as he starts his work day. Make is a really useful automation platform where you can automate tasks and workflows relatively easily without doing any coding. And I'll show you a couple other examples of how I automate daily repetitive tasks using Make later on in this video. And if you do want to try them out, you can sign up for a one month free pro plan. I'll drop a link in the description below.
automated task list. There are tasks that all of us have to do every day. For example, like showering, brush our teeth, make the bed. And those are automated tasks that we don't need to think about them. We just do them automatically, right? But there are other daily tasks that we need to do every day that maybe we do need a reminder for. For example, I have a task on my task list pop up every morning that says gym priority for 30 days, update board. So it's like, it's not possible to forget to go to the gym. Similarly, I have another task that I do every morning that says check calendar and plan day. And so for one or two minutes in the morning, as soon as I wake up, I check my calendar, I set an alarm 15 to 30 minutes before the call to remind me to go to my laptop if I'm not already there and prepare for the call. Now I could use the Google Calendar notifications, but I feel like actively setting a timer for each call just kind of helps cement it in my long-term memory. So I know roughly what calls, what meetings, what appointments I have throughout the day. And while we're on the subject of phone apps, I love that I can let my productivity apps talk to each other. My task list app, my calendar, my email, my messaging apps, they're all integrated and they communicate with each other and therefore they automate certain processes. For example, I'll show you how the Google Calendar integration works. When I add a task to my task list, let's say I don't want to do it today, so I can schedule it for a specific day and a specific time. And because Superlist and Google Calendar are connected with each other, that task automatically pops up on my calendar so I don't have to manually add it myself. Therefore saving me quite a bit of time throughout the week. The next automation is about scraping research and summarizing key points. So there are two main ways that I use AI every single day. The first one is for brainstorming and idea generation. So I use ChatGPT at least five times a day to help kind of brainstorm new ideas. Maybe I've got writer's block, so I ask ChatGPT to help out. The second way is during the research stages of projects. So I'll give you an example. I'm launching a new business project in exactly three weeks from now. It's around the idea of combining personal development with 30 day challenges, so stay tuned for that. A good few weeks in the research phase, researching if there's demand in the market, figuring out what angle to take. And again, this process can be automated with Make, and here's how it works. So first I find all my original research sources. These are usually a mix of PDFs, science articles, websites, and I pull all the URLs into a Notion page. And now instead of digging through a bunch of different places, I've got everything in one tidy Notion page. But the real time saver is this next step. I set up Make to send that Notion page over to OpenAI, which can summarize the text. So basically, I go from essentially a massive dump of research to a concise summary of the most important points within minutes. And it can save you so much time and energy because you can actually focus on creating ideas and insights instead of getting overwhelmed. So if you're drowning in research and looking for a way to streamline the process, this might be worth checking out. Now let's move on from a high tech automation to a low tech system. How many times have you arrived home and put your keys down somewhere? and then later on in the day, when you go to leave the house, you don't remember where you've put your keys. Introducing the world's lowest tech system, the key tray. And the system is this, when you come home, you put your keys, your wallet, your watch, your AirPods, basically all your everyday carry in a tray as soon as you arrive home. It's simple, right? And you do this every time you come home, so it's an automated habit. And then when you leave the house, you know exactly where everything is. I honestly can't remember the last time I've actually lost my keys or lost my wallet, touch wood, because I always put them in the same place when I arrive home. Now back to a higher tech automation, let's move on to an automation that will help you summarize and analyze form responses. Now the need for this next automation might come in handy if you're doing a lot of market surveys at work. For example, if I'm putting together a feedback form for one of my courses and releasing it to my students and getting dozens or even sometimes hundreds of responses, reading through each form manually, if there are hundreds of responses, is going to take a long time. So I can create a relatively simple three-step automation with Make. Basically with Make, I connect the online form building software. And for me, I usually use Typeform. I connect Typeform with my OpenAI account, and then I connect my OpenAI account with Google Sheets. And essentially, Make will set up an automation that will summarize all hundreds of forms so I don't have to spend hours going through them manually. And as you can imagine, these automations can save a lot of time. And I can use these automations to quickly gather feedback on my YouTube videos for course evaluations and even market research for future projects I'm working on. And if you're interested in checking out those automations 
options I mentioned using Make, you can sign up for a one month free pro plan. Again, I'll drop a link to Make in the description below. And for more time saving AI tools, check out this video right here.